asked Terry, how do I cook vegetables that my family will eat? How do I make vegetables taste good? Well, today I'm going to demonstrate to you three cooking methods that I use to create delicious vegetable dishes for my family. I will roast parsnips, golden beets, and winter squash along with celery, garlic, and onions. I will steam broccoli and saute rainbow chard with onions. Roasting may take a bit longer, but the results are worth it. Think caramelization. Steaming and sauteing is simple. Each method can be used for almost any vegetable. The options and combinations are endless. I will do all of my prep work first, the washing, the peeling and chopping, and then we'll cook. So let's get started. Here we are at the cutting board. I use a wooden cutting board. I've placed a moist towel underneath my board in order to help me stabilize my board. I have my knife, and now I'm gonna introduce you to the vegetables that we will use today. We have the rainbow chard, the broccoli, some celery, parsnips, my golden beet, the red curry squash, and a sweet Vidalia onion. Oh, and here's my garlic. We're going to start with the onion. I'm going to cut either end off and peel the papery top layer. Now I'm going to take my onion and hold it on the one end and I'm going to make quarter inch slices. I'm going to turn that on end. I'm going to take my circles and stack them up a bit. And then just make some cuts in either direction. So I'm going to use part of these onions for my rainbow chard dish as well as the other part for the roasted vegetables. So I'm going to take just a little bit of it, that should be enough, and set it aside for my sautéed greens. I have a dish here that I will start putting my vegetables in as I prepare them. My parsnips, I've already rinsed and used my scrubber to scrub them. Because they look so fresh and tender, I am not going to peel them today. Some days I do peel them, but I'm going to choose not to peel these ones. I'm going to cut off the end. And now I'm going to just kind of cut, do a rough chop on these. Sometimes I like to make my long cut first, and then some short cuts. As I was chopping the parsnips today, I noticed that the texture was quite firm and coarse, and so I chose to go back in and cut everything a little bit smaller, so I have diced them into half inch chunks. So this is six small parsnips. Here I've rinsed my golden beet and I'm going to peel it. I'll use my knife and cut the end off. And now I'm going to cut my beet about in the same size as the parsnip.
There I have my beets ready to go in with the other vegetables. And now for my red curry squash. This I'm also gonna peel. And I'm holding it on my cutting board to hold it firmly because it's so large, it's hard to hold in one hand. And I'll just hang on to it and peel. So there I have my peeled squash. Now I'm gonna cut off the stem end. And I'm gonna cut it in half. And there we go. I'll have to take the seeds out. So today it took a little bit of effort to remove the seeds and the pulp out of the middle, but I've done that now by scraping it with a spoon. And then I'm gonna turn it upside down to, so that it's a little more steady as I start my chopping. And these I will chop just like the others in about a half inch chunks. And now I'm going to turn it this way because I think that will help me stabilize a little better. And I use the heel of my hand to really press. So here I have my squash chopped. It might be a little larger than the parsnips and beets, but that's okay. The parsnips and beets will take a little longer to cook than the squash. So the squash can be a little bit larger and it will finish at the same time as the other two. Now I'm gonna add my celery. I have three stalks plus the little heart and I'm gonna use all of this. I've rinsed it. I'm going to take the three stalks and cut them lengthwise. And then I will lay everyone together and cut in about a quarter inch segments. That will go into my bowl. And now for the garlic. So here I have my clove of garlic. I'm going to give it a nice Swack on the board to kind of break it apart. And now I'm going to cut the stem end of each of the cloves. So here I have my individual cloves with the stem end cut off. And now I'm going to take the, my knife and again give each clove a tap. I like to turn it kind of upside down this way. and that allows the peel to easily come off the garlic. Now, as I open this one, you can see there's a little dark spot and I'll just go back and cut that off. The rest of it's fine. So here I have my garlic that I crushed a bit and peeled, and I'm gonna give that a little bit of a chop as well. And there's my minced garlic. And I'm gonna save a little bit of this for my greens as well. So here are the vegetables that we've just prepared, the parsnips, beets, celery, onions, garlic, I have quite a large batch today, so I'm going to use two tablespoons of the adobo. And three tablespoons of the herbs. And then I have here a half a cup of olive oil. I'm going to toss. 
Our stirring is complete and I see we have a nice coating of olive oil on all of the vegetables. I've been preheating my oven to 325 and now I'm ready to toss this in a pan and put it in the oven. It's gonna bake for about 45 minutes to an hour. And here we are ready to go in the oven. So now we have our vegetables roasting in the oven. We're gonna move on to prepare our steamed and sauteed vegetables. So the broccoli we're gonna steam. I have one bunch of broccoli here. These stems seem pretty small, so I, I use them just as they are. Some people talk about peeling the stems, but in this case, I don't think it's necessary because they're not very thick. I do like to cut off the bottom inch. And then I like to take each tree and make long cuts. Then I line them up and make short cuts about a quarter of an inch. Here I have my broccoli in the pan and I'm going to add water to have one inch in the bottom. And now I'm going to add some adobo seasoning and some olive oil. And now it's ready to go over to the stove for steaming. Here I have my beautiful rainbow chard. I've rinsed it and I'm gonna cut off just the very end of each of the stems. Now we will take the leaves one at a time and I'm going to remove that center vein. I like to just lay it flat and run my knife along the edge. So here I have all the veins removed. I'm going to chop them separately and I'm going to address the leaves first. I'll take a few of the leaves and stack them up. And then I'm gonna roll them. In a little bundle. And now I'll make very small cuts. And then I like to make one more cut down what would have been the center of my roll and maybe even one on either side. I like my greens to be nice and small. I find that greens take a lot of chewing and if you start with them in a smaller piece, it makes them incorporate into your meal much easier. So then I'll take all, the, all of these leaves and do more stacking into rolls and cutting it small. Here I have all my greens chopped and ready to go to the stove. I like to use all of the plant. I feel there's nutrition in all of it. Uh, these take a little bit longer to cook, so that's why I'm going to cut them and keep them separate. So I'm going to keep my stems here and I have my leaves here and we're going to head over to the stove. Here we are at the stove. I have my broccoli with the inch of water in the bottom of the pan, adobo seasoning, and olive oil. And I'm gonna turn that on to high. And I will wait until there's steam starting to come out the top with it on high. While that's uh, coming up to steam, I'm gonna move over to this pan and prepare for my sauteed vegetables. So my pan is heating and I'm gonna add to that warm pan, a quarter cup of olive oil. I see some 
rippling and bubbles and I hear a little bit of popping so I know that my oil is now ready and I'm going to add my diced up onions. I'm going to let the onions cook for three or four minutes. It's been about four minutes on my broccoli and I see steam now starting to come out of the top of my pan through the lid. And I'm going to turn it, the, the temperature down now to low. I want to still keep a little bit of a boil so you have to kind of play with your stove to know what will keep it cooking and how far down you need to turn it. Once you turn it down, you'll let it steam for four to seven minutes, depending on how large you have cut your vegetables. Mine are fairly small, so I'm gonna go for four to five minutes. My onions are looking good. They've been sauteing here for three or so minutes, and now I'm gonna add the stems. So I have a quarter teaspoon of salt. Quarter teaspoon of pepper. And I did that twice. So a half teaspoon of pepper and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Now I'm going to add the leaf. And I will add the garlic and adobo seasoning is one of our favorites. I'm going to go with a little bit of that here as well. I'm going to add a cup of water. And I'm going to put the lid on for two minutes. And now it's time to check our broccoli. It's been steaming for four minutes and I'm going to use my fork to see how tender it is. You can still see the color is nice and bright. I'm going to let it steam for one more minute. So I'm checking it again and my fork goes in very easily. I'm going to turn the burner off and I'm going to leave the, leave the lid off so that it can stop cooking and it's ready to serve. And over here on my sauteed greens, They are also ready to serve. Now, what I like to do with my greens is I add either some lemon juice or some balsamic vinegar. When you add that, it takes away the bitterness of the greens. And there you have it, sauteed greens with onion and garlic and steamed broccoli with adobo seasoning. So it's time to check our roasted root vegetables. They've been cooking in the oven at 325. It's been 35 minutes. Ooh, doesn't that look nice? I'll give them a stir. Then I'm gonna use my fork to check for doneness. The fork easily goes into the squash. The bead is a little more firm, and the parsnips feel done too. So I'm going to give it just another 15 minutes to finish off. The buzzer rang, and our root vegetables are ready to come out of the oven. Wow, don't those look marvelous. So here we have it. The buzzer rang and our root vegetables are ready to come out of the oven. 
Wow, don't those look marvelous. So here we have it, steamed broccoli, sauteed rainbow chard, and roasted root vegetables. Thanks for joining me in my kitchen today for vegetables three ways.